Ever tried to dig into soil so compacted, your shovel just bounces back with a jarring thud? It's a frustrating, all-too-common problem for gardeners. You see that rock-hard surface and think you need more muscle, a bigger tool, maybe even a tiller. But what if I told you the solution isn't about force? What if the secret to reviving that lifeless ground is something as simple and as gentle as a few sheets of plain paper? It sounds almost too good to be true, but this simple material can fix that soil faster and, more permanently, than your tools ever will. To understand why paper works, we first need to understand the problem. Compacted soil is like a sealed jar. The tiny particles of clay and silt are pressed so tightly together that there's no room for anything else. There's no air for roots to breathe, no channels for water to penetrate, and no space for beneficial organisms to live. When it rains, water either pools on top, suffocating the surface, or runs right off, taking valuable topsoil with it. Plant roots, if they can even start, will struggle and turn sideways, unable to access the nutrients and moisture locked away just inches below. Tilling might break the surface, giving you a temporary fix, but it often shatters the delicate soil structure and can create an even denser layer of compaction just below where the tines reach. It's a short-term solution that can lead to a long-term problem. This is where paper layers, especially uncoated newspaper or plain brown cardboard, do something truly magical. They don't use force, they use biology. The key ingredient is cellulose, the organic compound that makes up paper and cardboard. For the microscopic life in your soil, cellulose is a feast. When you lay down paper and wet it, you're essentially ringing a dinner bell for an entire army of soil decomposers. Fungi, in particular, are the first responders. They see this massive new food source and get to work immediately. Within just a few days, a vast network of fungal hyphae, tiny, white, thread-like structures, starts weaving through the paper and pushing down into the compacted soil beneath. These threads are nature's aerators. They create countless microtunnels, breaking apart the dense soil on a microscopic level. These new pathways act like a sponge, allowing oxygen and moisture to finally penetrate those previously sealed off layers. This process naturally undoes months or even years of pressure without ever lifting a shovel. And the fungi are just the beginning. The moist protected environment under the paper is an irresistible invitation for larger soil engineers, especially earthworms. Earthworms absolutely love damp paper. They are drawn to the surface to pull it down into their burrows, piece by piece. As they move, they create even larger channels, dramatically improving drainage and aeration. They digest the paper and the surrounding soil, and what they leave behind are rich, nutrient-dense castings. These castings are one of the best soil amendments you can get, packed with beneficial microbes and readily available nutrients for your plants. So, how do you do it? It's incredibly simple. First, gather your materials. You'll need plain, uncoated newspaper, avoid the glossy, colorful ads, or plain brown cardboard. Make sure to remove any plastic tape or staples. Your goal is to create a light-blocking, compostable layer. Lay the paper or cardboard directly on top of the compacted soil. Don't dig or till first. You want the soil organisms to do that work for you. Apply a generous layer, about four to six sheets of newspaper thick, or one to two layers of cardboard. Overlap the edges by a few inches to ensure no gaps. This overlap is crucial for smothering any existing weeds. Next, and this is the most important step, water it thoroughly. You want the paper or cardboard to be completely saturated so it makes good contact with the soil below. This moisture is what kickstarts the decomposition process. To keep it moist and improve the look, you can add a 2 to 3 inch layer of organic mulch on top. Things like wood chips, straw, or shredded leaves work perfectly. This top layer helps retain moisture, regulates soil temperature, and adds even more organic matter as it breaks down. Now you just wait. In the first week, you'll see earthworms and other insects starting to investigate. After about three weeks, if you peek under a corner, the paper will be soft, covered in fungal threads, and actively being pulled into the soil. In just a few months, the paper will have vanished completely, transformed into dark, rich humus. The soil beneath will be noticeably softer, darker, and teeming with life. Roots from new plants will now grow deep, microbes will thrive and your soil will stay soft and friable, season after season. A quick word on troubleshooting, the damp environment can sometimes attract slugs. A layer of coarse mulch like wood chips can help deter them. If your soil is so dry that it repels water, a condition called hydrophobia, 
You may need to water the paper layer a few times to get it fully saturated, but be patient. Once the biology kicks in, the soil's ability to hold water will dramatically improve. So next time you're faced with compacted soil, skip the backbreaking work. Put down the shovel, pick up some paper, and let nature do the heavy lifting. Try it this weekend and watch your garden come back to life.